Hello there. Hello. Right, I've not done a, a YouTube video in a while. I've just done a TikTok video there. But today's proceedings in Morrison's in uh, Ormskirk, Lancashire, England, I purchased that. And I think it was like two for seven pound. And uh, it was no bad. Right. Apple cider with a touch of blackcurrant and a touch of warm cinnamon. Obviously, I've tried it for TikTok. You can serve it warm or cold. I think it would be absolutely disgusting warm. But it's premium cider, Koppenberg, spiced blackcurrant, 3.4%, and it's uh, 1882, so you get lots of history. And it's 500 mils. I wish instead of 500 mils it was 250 or 200 because sometimes if I try and finish it quickly and I uh, try and gulp at least like that much it gives me a bit of a bloated stomach. I mean technically at the end of the day though it just tastes like you expect it to. Like a, a <coughs> it's got like a I like a, a, a deep black currant -y sort of taste and a hint of spice. Right, so I'll get back to that in a minute, but I'm just going to say, right, uh, from right now uh, as I speak to an hour before the Everton game tomorrow, I'm going to really, really, really think my hardest day what is going to be either Everton to win 1 now or 2 1 against. Man U and if De Corey and uh, Mikalenko are playing tomorrow, if I think to myself everyone will win one nil, then I'm going to put Everton to win one nil and Mikalenko to score the only goal. Or if I think it's two one, then I'll put Everton to win two one and uh, De Corey to score the first goal. Oh, as I speak to you right now, Broxburn Athletic are uh, getting the uh, penalty shoots after extra time. So, come on, Broxburn. They've only lost one game all season, and I hope they didn't lose today. But uh, after this, I'll check, because that will probably uh, be the end of uh, penalty shoots. So, as I said, getting back to this video, right. I'm only going to drink them like now and again, maybe like one every two or three weeks or something. I'm definitely not going to have anywhere near as much as I used to. Just now and again. Because when I really, really boil it down, most of them are all just like meh. But overall in the journey of uh, ciders, Koppenberg overall is my favourite brand of cider. And the best one I've ever had is uh, Mixed Fruit Tropical or Tropical Strongbow was really nice actually, Strongbow Bow 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 So yeah, Strongbow I uh, Tropical would recommend that one You always get four in the pack either for £5, £6 or whatever Oh, in fact uh, my my uh, top three is Tropical Strongbow, uh, Koppenberg uh, Mixed Fruit Tropical, and oh, uh, Thatcher's Blood Orange. Thatcher, Thatcher's Blood Orange is actually quite nice. I might actually uh, go somewhere before I come back from England on Thursday and get uh, four cans of that, actually. I might do. Aye, so I might do. Wait, what am I doing? No, I'm not doing anything. Uh, right, I might do like a, a small walk before the first uh, uh, English Premiership game tomorrow and then watch Everton after the first game. Then on Monday, gone to Southport. Tuesday, oh, staying overnight with my father's best friend, Ian Campbell. Then after that, having a look around in uh, Arms. Armskirken and gone to Marine FC in Liverpool to watch them play. And then Wednesday, uh, going to uh, the Christmas market in Liverpool and then coming home on Thursday. So, one of the days I'll, I'll go and get a thing. 
Right, so as I was uh, saying to you there, I just had to go and check my chicken wings, uh, barbecue chicken wings, but I want them on for another two minutes because I want the edges to be slightly uh, brown so that the flavour is more intense. So, uh, aye, that would be one of my ult ultimate foods, is a big plate of... Uh, either salt and pepper or spicy uh, chicken wings with uh, sweet potato uh, fries, uh, sweet corn carrots and uh, chip shot curry sauce and a big uh, pint of iron brew and then after it I would have maybe Aye, uh, stick, sticky toffee pudding and custard, but uh, cust the sticky toffee pudding that you get and you put in the microwave for 30 seconds and you turn it upside down and put custard on it, that would be my, all, my overall all-time favourite meal. Or, I quite like a really good, uh, like, traditional crispy skinned uh, chicken uh, dinner, like a uh, chicken with gravy, carrots, onions, uh, mash, uh, and uh, roast potatoes, but, huh. Uh, and another, uh, or ribs, aye, uh, like, uh, sweet and sticky uh, barbecue ribs, aye, and uh, sweet potato chips with sweet corn and carrots, definitely. But, overall, right, I would say that this is, it's not the best of our cider, but definitely it's not the worst. Overall, the worst cider I've ever tried is just uh, traditional apple ones. I hate the ones. Because I, I got a big bottle once and it was £1.35 and it was a litre bottle. Uh, only had about that much in and then had to pour it away. It was disgusting. Because nowadays, I like my food or drinks with complex flavours like uh, high notes and low notes. Like, I didn't need, like something like that. I like them like oomphed. Because I've got more of a uh, sophisticated palate these days, I don't need, like bland food. So, aye. But as I said earlier, uh, Koppenberg uh, mixed fruit uh, tropical. Strongbow uh, Tropical and oh, what was the other one? Uh, Thatcher's uh, Blood Orange. They're the three best uh, ciders ever. But overall, Koppenberg is the best branded cider because uh, all the brand uh, ciders I've ever tried, Koppenberg has the best flavours. But uh, Blood Orange at one point was my o my overall favourite, but now it's uh, Mixed Fruit Tropical Koppenberg. But the only thing is, though, that, like, I'll say it for instance, right? Yesterday in Liverpool, when I was going to get a cider, but it was only £7 before you could use your card, it's a 500ml bottle, this, and, well, glass bottle, and I got into about there, I shown the bottle, and it was mixed fruit, and my father says, just uh, try and finish it, hurry up and finish it because it was taking forever and I uh, drank about that much in a row and it uh, sort of like bloated and uh, my stomach was a wee bit sore for half an hour after it but for instance and I don't know why though every single time I've ever had one of them I take more than an hour to finish it by then at the bottom uh, it's, the uh, liquid just went to room temperature and it tastes flat. And for some reason, when it goes flat, you can, uh, well, in my opinion, I can taste more of the uh, sweetness and alcohol. Well, no, no the sweetness, because uh, the coldness brings out the sweetness, apparently. Aye, but anyway, uh, uh, I sorry would and I wouldn't. If you know what I mean, recommend that. I mean, I would recommend it because it's not horrible and it's not, like, absolutely terrible. But then on the other side, it's no absolutely incredibly stunning. No as good as the spiced apple, which I'll try tomorrow. So, uh, I, I, I'm i going to... Well, obviously, I've got it in the fridge right now and it'll be all the way until uh, tomorrow before the Everton game. So, I'll, do, I'll review that, like, five minutes before the Everton game. So, look out for that one in Tati